first thing first, what about, what can you say about the record, 9,000 plus here? Yeah. Like, what can you say about the fans and everyone that came out to watch this game? Man, it means so much to the program, and I know to just, honestly, coaches around the country that attendance records are being broken all over the place, and I was just waiting for the opportunity for us to do it here in Louisville. So, it was this really awesome on a Wednesday at 8 p.m. to still have 9,000 fans to break the record, I think says a lot about how this city is watching our team. And um, I, don't know, our, I know our team was insanely appreciative and excited. Yeah, I guess how cool was it to come out there and see yeah. just the, the loud crowd and yeah. everyone was into it? I mean, it was it was great. You know, we got a little taste of what it might be like at Freedom Hall last year, but our whole team was like, ah. Oh, can't wait to play with the scoreboard at Yum, and just it feels more like a home arena here. So um, it, it really was cool to walk out and see everybody filling in. Obviously, you're responding to that game to what happened at Pittsburgh. How did they bounce back from that? What was their attitude after that? You know, I I think we came out really strong, especially that first set, and it's really confident. And so that's what we really needed to do. Um, I think we have a lot to continue to work on, and it's hard to get over the hump of the like mid-season blues. And um, but I thought this was a good step in the right direction after Sunday. You'd rather not use losses as have to teach, but if you have one, how did that go as far as correcting things? Yeah, well, I mean, losing to Pitt, they're a great team, a great program. Um, it's hard to beat them at their place. So I think we can just go back and refocus on little things and show the team like things that we talk about in practice. And when they show up in a game, then that's a problem. So we can be a little more on top of it in practice. Probably good to have a huge contingent here. I mean, this was yeah. bigger than some men's basketball games yeah. last year, but that's, that's cool. I mean, it was amazing to have a huge crowd. And, you know, this should give us a lot of motivation to finish this season on a high note so we can be back here in December uh, for postseason. A lot of fans have probably been waiting to see you in person, maybe since the Final Four when yeah. they all, when so many went up. This is a chance. Yes. How good is it to give them that chance? Just I think, it, you know, and a lot of people have asked, are we going to play more matches down here? And we, we try to play more. Just the schedule didn't cooperate as well as we had hoped for this season. But hopefully in the future, you know, there's more opportunities for more fans to come out. And, you know, I even thought about kids. And that's a huge part of our program is, like, the youth. And with being late on a Wednesday, I'm hoping in the future we'll give them a better time for them to come out. Could you ask for any more from Claire Shawson? Ah, Claire's been unbelievable, and tonight I thought she put on a show. And um, I know she's an exciting player to watch. Period. And then when she plays well, she just tonight it's like just put a stamp on that. What's left for this team? I mean, it's a tough deal to follow what you did last year, but you have so many people back. Yeah. Uh, where would you like to see them go as far as improvement between now and the end of the year and, and just sharpening this up? Yeah, I think, like you said, it's just sharpening up and, um, you know, fine-tuning. I'd love to see our middle, like, Kara and PK are both doing great. I want them to separate themselves and really start to, you know, to take that role. And then our backcourt, you know, last year we won a lot of games to our backcourt. Tonight I thought they were very good, but... Um, we've been in a rut, and we got to work out of that and um, go back to like what makes us great. Oh, thank, thank, you. You. thank you, thank you, thanks, guys. Thank you.